guys! Hey guys! So today we're doing the end of the month haul. This is our favorite part of the month actually because then we get to see what all we bought. Yeah. We haven't done a haul in a hot minute so we finally decided now's the time because we have no other videos scheduled. You may as well do so it. So let's get her done. So the first book is one that we got together this month and that is The Statistical Probability in Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. <laughs> this is like one of those cute contemporary romances. It's um, a mouthful. Right? I know. Whew. The next one that we got this month that also happens to be signed is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. We found this at Barnes & Noble and we instantly got it because God's autographed and that's yeah. really awesome. She has really cool she wrote in all of them little queen they have little bumblebees in all of them uh-huh and little queen mine says Yours queen, says queen bee. bee yeah mine's just a little bumblebee i don't know if you can say it I'll, I'll zoom in sometime i like the fact that this author took time to like personalize every copy <sighs> that was that was pretty great it made me feel my hand would get tired i'd be like just get yeah. my name <laughs> I even picked this up when I thought I had it on my bookshelf uh -huh. because it was autographed. I was like, you know what, I'll do a giveaway for the other book. But it turns out that was a different one. It had the word dark in it, so you close. But I won. I, I won that argument. Yes. So the last one we got together is Wayfair by Alexander Bracken. This was going to be our buddy read for March. Actually, The Three Dark Crowns was supposed yes. to be for... February, February, but we're gonna read this in February because I just finished Passenger and oh my gosh that cliffhanger So the first book I got was Dark Lover by J.R. Ward This is a series I've been wanting to read for a while and I finally found the first book at Half Price Books So I decided to pick it up. Half Price Book is like our If they ever want to sponsor us, please <laughs> we love you. Books. Just give us a book. We're okay with yes. that. So uh, book I got in January is The Stars Never Rise by Rachel Vincent. I've actually read her other series, I think it revolves around angels or something on Kindle, and she's a really great author, so she I have high hopes. No, yeah. that's a different one. That's a different one. So but I have very cool. high hopes for this series. It, I actually got book two first, and I started reading it, and I was like, what the heck is going on? Because it's giving away some things that you think would happen at the end of the book. Then I figured out, I don't have book one, so I ordered big one, and I'm excited to read it. Alright, so the next book I got is one of my most anticipated reads of 2017, and that is Roseblood by A.G. Howard. I have been waiting for this book since she released the cover a year ago. Um, this is a Phantom and Opera retelling. She's really good at her retellings. If you don't know her, she wrote the Splintered series. It's an Alice in Wonderland retelling. This one is she sings and she slowly loses her voice, and her greatest gift is what's going to kill her. So I'm very excited to read this. Plus, she's one of those authors that she writes the ink is in color. I mean, I wish I could do that. <laughs> I don't know if they can either. So the next one I got, Doi, because I was just talking about it, is The Flame Never Dies by Rachel Vincent. That is book two. I have nothing to say on it other than the cover's pretty. My next one is The Kingslayer by Virginia Bobecker. So the next one I got is Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. I actually have the beginning of her other series, A Star Cross, but I don't think I'm going to read it because... She writes instead of two quotes, she just does the one, and that really annoys me, so I'm probably not going to read that. But this one does not. I checked it, and I'm excited for this one. <coughs> yeah. So the next book is another one that I've been wanting to read, and that is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. This is another high fantasy type book, and I've been wanting to read it, so I picked it up this month just to try it. And I read like the first two chapters, and I was hooked, and I had to put it down so that I didn't read it on top of everything else I've been reading. The next one is Forever With Me by Kristen Proby. The next book I got is Wind Witch, which is the second in the um, Truth Witch series, and I'm very excited to dive into this one. This one is actually a surprise book that I bought myself. I was not expecting to want to read it, but it's Cradle and All by James Patterson. The next book I got, I actually picked this up a couple days ago, is Dragonfly and Ember by Diana Gabaldon. It is the next in the Outlander series. So this next one I got is actually... <coughs> A Book of Poems, it's Milk and Honey by Rupi, Rupi Kaur. Rupi, I think is her name. The next book I got is actually kind of a cool one. I got this from a friend of mine, and it's the, It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. The next one is The Vincent Brothers by Abby Glines. This is one of the first books I actually read from her. And the next is a very exciting one, and that is the 10th anniversary edition of Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. The next one is The Vincent Boys by Abby Glines, which is a book too, but a different character. So this is my last book, 
And that is Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. This is a retelling of The Snow Queen, which I absolutely love those and I've been really into retellings lately, so I'm excited to read this one. So the next book I got is actually a dollar store find, and that's Unthinkable by Nancy Worland. It's book two in a series, but of course they wouldn't have book one there because they're not a bookstore. So I had to find book one, but you know what, it's okay because this is book two and it was a dollar and I'm happy. This is Disarm, the complete novel, by June Gray. I've seen this on book outlets every time I go on because it's like, hey, we suggest this one for you because it has romance and an, an army guy. This is Emma's kind of world. It's my kind of stuff right there. So I picked it up at half price. It was a bit more money than I would have spent if I bought it on book outlet, but I didn't want to wait. The book outlet can take forever. The next one that I got is The Sun's also... The Sun is also a star by Nicola Yoon. I was looking on... Hey, MTV wrote a thing. I said, hey. I didn't even know they did that. I didn't either. And I was on Amazon, and I was looking for books to buy, and I saw this, and I wasn't actually going to buy it until I saw that it was going to be a TV show. The next one is Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon. I actually have a spoiler and spoiler-free review videos. I'll link those down below, and you can get my thoughts on this book, and I really love it. For January is Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. I've heard so much about this and I actually entered in to get an arc like many moons ago and I got it but I gave it to someone else because they really wanted it. There is our January haul. We got a whole bunch of books we're excited to read. I hope you enjoyed our video and all the books that we got. Please thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!